So over the past couple of months, we've kind of had to adjust to our new lives, but there is one member of our family who's really struggling with it, and that is our Winston. Since Theodore's come along, I'm sorry, I've noticed a difference in my Winston. Yeah. And he's not happy. Yeah, the dog's mental health is pretty high on my level of interest, given that we have Listen, a new infant. I now. want everybody in this house to gel well together and be happy. And Winston, as your stepson, you should make him feel welcome and happy too. No one really likes their stepson. I have a stepdad, so I find that offensive when you say that. Well, ask him. He definitely likes me. Clyde? Hello, Spencer. Spencer, hi, mate. Hey, oh, yep. That's anyway, good. we decided that we'd get a pet therapist. There was no we in this whatsoever. We decided. No. Well, the first thing I picked up with him, he said to me, he's lost his mum. Oh, no. He's Clyde. lost his mum. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's what... Because you, you, you want me to be honest, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, that's what he said. He's lost his mum. Well, how are you going to make him not feel like that? Well, I, I'll work on him. I'll check him all the way. I haven't even started yet, but that was the initial thing I was getting from him. Find your mum. For animals and people, I use a system called angelic dowsing, where I use divining rods, pendulums. I have a look inside the body, I look at the chakras, I douse the chakras to see if they're blocked and if they're holding any negative emotions. And then I work at clearing them for them. OK, so you see now they just turn on their own? Yeah. Oh, no. Now, that's his heart. <gasps> he has a sorrow. Heart. Sorrow. Something has upset him to do with love. I thought he started feeling down a little while ago after yeah. the baby arrived. Yeah, so if he starts to feel depressed, any spirit that's walking around is drawn to him because they feel the same energy as him. Yeah. So what I do, I connect a source, I open up a portal, and then I cross these into the spirit world, OK? What he's told me now, he is so sorry. And when I said, why are you sorry? And he says, he feels he's done something wrong that because you have replaced him with the baby. So um, he's, he, he loves the baby, but he feels he's not wanted now. And this is the new dog, <laughs> if you like, you know. A dog? That's why his heart was sad. He doesn't love me, does he? Does he he may Spencer? not. Well, the thing is, I, I don't like to say who he, who he loves and not. No, it's not ask really ask nice. him if he loves me. No, we definitely want to hear No, him. I don't. No, want... go on, tell us if he loves Spencer. Well, we'll, we'll, I'll ask him now and see. He said you, you were rude to him. Uh, excuse me. Winston, I'm the only person that plays tennis, tennis with you. Nobody else kicks the ball for you. I take you running with me, I feed you, and I house you. So don't be so ridiculous. You know, if you were just a bit nicer to him, it might help. This is not my fault. You can't blame it on me. It's mainly... What you could do just to um, send Winston a bit of love, do a bit of male bonding, spend a bit more quality time together, and perhaps, you know, the relationship will just go... Not that it's bad, but it could go stronger. <sighs> oh, he's not moving. Oh, he doesn't mind him, though. He usually jumps off the couch. No. I liked Clyde and he realigned Winston's energies. Bye, Clyde. Safe home. Listen, Clyde has a job which a lot of people will be sceptical about, so I'm one of those sceptics. OK. And I liked Clyde. 